Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown, and the moment has arrived. The Surface Book 2 is here. Now, you may have noticed from my earlier videos that I had the uh, Surface Book uh, 1. It was the uh, one with a dedicated graphics card, the, uh, the uh, 940M. And you know what? It uh, was very good. It was actually one of my favorite laptops. I use it for all my note taking, and it, uh, it was good for playing games on the go, you know, low to medium settings. And of course, then that uh, got revamped with the uh, 965M. But I've been waiting for uh, these uh, new ones with the, uh, the 1050, um, the GTX 1050 or the GTX 1060. So this time I decided to make a plunge and go for the 15 inch and thus the GTX 1060. So let's have a quick look at uh, what, uh, what models and the general pricing you get. There are two models, the 13 and a half inch or the 15 inch, and they all come with the uh, pixel sense uh, display. So that's up to uh, 3240 by 2160 resolution. Uh, it's uh, again a three, three to two aspect ratio with 10 point multi-touch. Um, storage wise, you can get up to two, start at the 256 gigabytes, 512 uh, or one terabyte uh, PCI Express SSD. In terms of the spec wise, you can either get uh, the uh, eight, uh, either get eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of uh, uh, DDR4 RAM, 1866 megahertz. Now the, uh, the, the the base model, the 13 and a half inch, can uh, you can actually f configure that with the Intel HD 620, and uh, that's that's the base level, and you can uh, you can upgrade that to the GTX uh, 1050 with two gigabytes of uh, VRAM. Now the uh, as you say the 15 inch model only comes with the GTX 1060. Uh, processor wise, the 13 and a half inch can go um, uh, with the uh, a dual core i5-7300 CPU, or you can, uh, I, I recommend going for the new quad core Coffee Lakes i7-8650U CPUs. Now that's a quad core with hyper threading, so that's eight threads. Um, base clock is 1.9 gigahertz, and that turbo boosts up to 4.2. But still, it's uh, only a 15 watt part. So weight wise, you know, if we're looking at um, a, for the 13 and a half inch, it starts off at around about 3.38 pounds. Um, if you have that, that's with the integrated graphics. Step up to the dedicated uh, GTX 1050, that goes up to 3.62 pounds. The 15 inch model here, which I have, should be around about 4.2 pounds or um, about uh, 1.9 kilos. So pricing wise, the 13 and a half inch. Base model with eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD, integrated graphics starts at about $1,500. Then all the way up, you go up to 2,000, two and a half thousand, all the way up to a massive $3,000. And for that, you get a one terabyte SSD, you get 16 gigabytes of RAM, and you get the uh, GTX 1050 graphics card. That is quite a lot of change, isn't it, to be honest with you. Looking at the 15 inch, which is a new model for these guys, that starts out at $2,500. That's 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD, and uh, a GTX 1060 graphics card. And that's what I've got here. I couldn't afford any more than that. And to be honest, that was expensive. And it uh, um, goes up to then $3,000, up to about $3,300 for a one terabyte uh, SSD. So, you know, it's a lot of money. So let's unbox it and see what we have. Yep. Huge, huge knife, just in case I get attacked. But I really did like my, uh, the other one, the Surface Book one, and I sold it and I only got, uh, only got $800 for it in the end, which is a shame, really. It was quite sad, but, you know, things you do for reviews, I guess. So it comes in a nice clean box. Oh, solid. Inside here we have no doubt, it's just a little, little, little pamphlet. Um, instruction manual, you know how to detach the screen and all that type of stuff. And then here, we all should have the, uh, the power adapter. Similar to the last one. And of course, you've got um, a little USB port here for charging it up. Now, this is still a nice uh, small one. And the, in fact, the, the power of it should be, let's have a look what we got. No. This is 102 watts. You see that in the camera, 102 watts. Yes, yeah, so that's 102 watts. And this is the power adapter from uh, a regular 1060 notebook, and uh, that's, uh, that's 150 watts. So hopefully it's gonna provide enough juice. <laughs> it's hard to get into this thing, isn't it? Oh, God. 
And there it is. It looks just like a big uh, version of the 13 inch, no surprise there. So let's uh, open it up. Ah, that's nice. A little bit of foam there to keep it safe. That looks seemingly to completely redesign this, even though it looks the same as, uh, as, as the previous ones. They completely redesigned it. And as you notice, there's no pen in the box, of course. Tight buggers. You've got to buy that like, separately. It's about $100. The mechanism there to take the, that off. Now, this is a, of course, it's going to be a huge kick-ass tablet, isn't it? And uh, But that came off uh, nicely. And the tablet doesn't weigh much at all. It's very light. That's pretty stare, you know, that's uh, wobbly. So let's uh, have a look at the size wise compared to my uh, Lenovo Yoga 720. You got there side by side. About the same, but notice me, it is thinner, a lot thinner here. And thickness wise, you know, even with the the thicker end here, it's still, you know, pretty similar to the Yoga. And of course it tapers there nicely. And it's certainly a lot better build. And, and, and looking at the, the footprint of it, it's slightly deeper in width, but not as long, not as long. Which is nice, because that may, could make it easier to carry in a bag. I do like it. Got a nice solid feel to it. So let's have a quick look at uh, what, what we've got in the ports. On the left hand side, we have two USB 3.1 Type A ports, a full size SD card reader, so that's nice. Uh, on the top of the tablet part, we have the power button and uh, a volume rocker, and also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a USB 3.1 Type C port. No Thunderbolt, which is uh, crazy really for this price. But anyway, you can get a dongle, um, which will allow you to connect uh, to uh, HDMI for your uh, mixed reality and the power connector. And uh, of course, you've got a camera camera here on the back if you want to take uh, photos with you. Look, Daft taking photos. Uh, no fingerprint reader, but you do have the, the Windows uh, Hello cameras here. So let's uh, power it on. In the base unit, you will have the uh, an extra battery and the GTX 1060. And in the tablet here, you'll have a battery and uh, the CPU and uh, the SSD and, and the RAM. So this will work, into, can work independently, but it'll take air, uh, you know, make use of the extra battery, which by all accounts will uh, give it uh, 17 hours of runtime. So that's pretty sweet. So there we go, it's, uh, it's uh, through the setup, it works nicely. Looks nice. So stay tuned for my uh, full review. Uh, put in the comments the type of tests you'd like me to do and uh, thanks for watching like subscribe. See you next time. Bye